I'm not into long intros. I wanna jump in and start right away because I sat down to do a video, didn't know what it was going to be about, but I just went with the vibes of the cards that was already here. And it looks like, see what I mean? You see what I mean? This is what I'm saying. I sat down to do a video and I didn't know what I was gonna do the video about, but I felt the vibe of a passed on mother a mother that passed on and as I was going to say that the death card came out. So let's just do that. Let's dive on in. Family. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Family. First of all, the passed on loved one, the mother wants you to know because there's a feeling of you struggling with your mom's passing but she wants you to know that she is okay. And this could be like a mother mother or a mother figure, even like a grandma, okay? A godmother, something like that. But she wants you to know that she is okay. She's happy on the other side. She's no longer in pain. And also she can cross between realms. So you may not feel like she's there when you talk to her. You may not feel like she's talking to you, but she is. And she wants to acknowledge that when you do speak to her, she hears it. You don't feel like she hears it, but I want you to look at this card and you see how there's two circles in this woman's hand. Picture the circles as like the earth, the globe, our realm where we are, and then the realm where your mother is. She wants you to know that she could cross between realms. And because this card came in reverse, I feel like you don't believe that. You know, it's like you're struggling with that. So, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I'm glad you clicked on this video. Your angel number is 233. And I wanted to roll the dice. And guess what? Guess what? 233, 233. I just feel like this is confirmation for somebody, okay? Uh, two, three, three in the dice and in the cards. Your mother wants you to know she loves you from the other side, okay? No longer hurting, no longer in pain, no longer anxious. Um, and she is okay and she wants you to be okay, okay? And to understand and to know that she can go between realms, okay? So let's. Let's continue. That was a nice opening message. So we have seven, eight, nine, as far as numbers. I love um, number patterns and things like that. If you have siblings, if you have siblings and um, maybe you weren't as close with, with your mom and you may feel like she would prefer to be with the siblings over you for whatever reason. You know what I mean? She, she wants you to know it's not like that. So the realm that she's in, she's saying with the Seven of Cups that she can be with you and your sibling or your cousin or, or the father or whoever. She could be with several people at once. She could hear you guys at once. You could all talk to her at once and it's fine. <laughs> like wherever she is, um, you can talk to her and she's with you. Even if you feel like she would rather be with someone else, she is with you. She wants to be with you. Okay. She wants to be with you. So with the four of pentacles in reverse, I feel like, uh, for some of you guys that are watching, you may have felt like your mother didn't really hold on to you like she should have or maybe you didn't hold on to her like you should have okay and so with that there's a feeling of why should she be with me when she would rather be with someone else you you get what i mean so in that 
I just want to clarify that up for you. Like, that's not the case. Your mother loves you. I just wanted to really clear that up for someone who may have been struggling with that. Your mother loves you. Despite what may have happened, that energy is like, um, I don't want to say like null and void, but it just doesn't matter. Okay, like it doesn't matter to her. She she loves you. She's with you and with whoever else, the sister, the cousin, the brother, the husband, the girlfriend, the wife, the boy, whoever. Um, she's with you and them. So just know that. Okay. These two, this combo is so cute. This is so cute. So what I'm seeing is um, you, the viewer, as the strength card. And I'm seeing your mother as the woman in white. She wants you to know I'm with you. I'm always with you. I'm talking to you. It's like we're still communicating as far as she's concerned. It's like you guys can still talk. But it's a new language. The Page of Swords. The pages are about learning something new. And the Page of Swords is about learning a new language. Learning to communicate. And I, this is just so beautiful. And it's just so cute. Because she's saying like, I'm still with you. You know, I'm still with you and I want to talk to you. I want to communicate. Like, it's like I want to call you on the phone almost. The Page of Swords, it's like she's holding the phone. I want to call you on the phone. I, I want to tell you this. I want to tell you that. I want to tell you what I'm seeing. Like, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. And I like things. Some of the things I'm seeing you do, I, I like. And some of the things that I, I'm watching you do, I don't like. And I want to be able to tell you that. I want to be able to guide you. That's what I'm seeing here with the Nine of Swords. I feel like your mother is watching some of the things that you're doing and she's cringing. There's like a cringe. And the Two of Wands, I want to guide you. I want to guide you. I want to be able to... Uh, I want to be able to, to lead you away from certain things and away from certain decisions, but I can't. I feel like this is a call to action for you. If you were ever thinking about learning tarot or learning divination, I think this is a really good confirmation for you. And I would suggest that you start with meditation, just simple meditation. Like just, just start with that. That is like one of the basic things that, that's like one of the basic, look at this. I love the, the king of cups because he's a psychic person. Look at the queen of cups underneath. Two, look at my two psychics. So this tells me that you have the potential to communicate with your mother. I love that. But right now that energy is blocked with the eight of wands in reverse because it's a new skill. It's a new skill. It's a new language. So like I was saying, just simply start with meditation you know pray ask god ask your ancestors ask the universe to show you what form of divination is for you because maybe it's tarot and if so hit me up i could teach you um, but it could be something like using runes or using the dice or simply listening for for different words and and seeing key colors and numbers and things like that so there's a lot of different ways to do divination right and you just have to figure out what is right for you but your mom loves you. She wants you to learn how to look at that. As I say, your mom loves you. Your mom loves you. I don't know if you guys maybe didn't always see eye to eye. And you know, that's, it is what it is. But from where she is, look at the number three and look at the number three again. From where she is, the mother, she loves you. Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Pentacles is about working together, teamwork, and it's in reverse. So maybe you guys didn't always work. Look at the number three. Three, three, three. Maybe you guys didn't always work together as a team. Maybe there was some fighting between you guys, you know, a little mother-daughter spat, if you will, uh, which kind of left you guys burdened with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe things left unsaid. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is like um, uh, problems with the family dynamics. And you know what this tells me too? That maybe the relationship that you and your mother had with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, maybe the relationship that you and your mother had is a generational thing. Like she had issues with her mom or grandma 
and maybe you had issues with her and then or you have issues with your daughter you see what i'm saying ten of pentacles in reverse that's what i feel and then everybody kind of acts like everything is fine 10 10 10 okay so here we go with all these numbers all these angel numbers so yeah to me that just lets me know that it is confirmation i'm on the right track but even in that the way the cards fell even in that your mom wants you to know i'm watching you even though this is you know take it for what it is even though sometimes i feel like you're a hot mess like i watch you and i watch your downfalls and i want to be able to guide you and tell you right from wrong but you know i just cannot do that the way i used to or the way that yeah I can't do that the way that I used to. However, from the clouds, from the heavens, I can still talk to you. I can still communicate. It's about you feeling. It's a it's a feeling that you'll get. And you'll know when she's it's a feeling, it's a smell. It's a feeling, it's a smell. What else? What else am I getting with this? Maybe like um like a sound. A gut feeling that's what I'm seeing with this okay but and also and also even even though sometimes you could be a hot mess she's proud of you she wants you to celebrate the little things celebrate the big wins celebrate the small wins because she's with you in those celebrations celebrate the small things you woke up on time all week celebrate that celebrate that all right, I'm going to wrap this up because I don't want this to be too long. So let's get a closing message from your past on mom. If this reading resonates with you, uh, drop a comment in the comment section below. But I cut the deck and I keep kind of seeing in this card and I just keep ignoring it. But <laughs> here it is again. It looks like there was an apology that n was never spoken. There was an apology that was never spoken, okay? And <laughs> so your mom passed before the apology happened. But from the other side, it's either saying sorry or accepting you're sorry with the Ace of Cups. This reads to me like a, a movie playing in reverse. Like, -da 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 -da. like that's how I see it. So the fight that happened, the apology that never happened, she passed on without the apology. And here is the apology and acceptance, okay? So I'm so glad that you're here, whoever this uh, reading is for. I'm so glad that you're here so that this could be confirmation for you. I'm so glad you're here. I said a closing message and I just keep shuffling. So let's just get, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, have to, I just, I'm feeling the vibe here. I'm feeling the vibe. So just keep on shuffling. Okay. I asked for like a, a closing message and the way that this reads to me is just like short sentences, like very, to the, very direct. So your parent uh, could have been very direct or it's like, this is what I've been waiting to say. So it's like, let's get it. Let's go. Okay. So the chariot in reverse, um, mind over matter, but you are making matter over mind. Do not keep having things worry you or bother you honestly that's a hamster on the wheel because you're thinking about the negative things the negative things happen so you think about it then they happen no 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 that's matter over mind and your mother is saying mind over matter so figure out a way meditate like I mentioned before figure out a way to focus on what you want and not what you don't want because Whatever you focus on is what you're going to get. That's from your mother. That's the number seven. We have also a number seven with the seven of swords. Be confident in yourself. 
And if you think about doing it, then do it. This person is a strategic planner. This person thinks about themselves and put themselves first. And that's what your mother is telling you to do. Put yourself first. Love you. <laughs> mean it. Put yourself first. Okay? Strategic planning. If you think about it, do it. Let your head and your feet go in the same direction. Mm, and that's hard sometimes. Especially if you're... Um, thinking about negative things instead of thinking about the positive things okay ace of swords in reverse live with no regrets no take backs no take backs okay ace of swords in reverse no take backs so say what you gotta say mean what you say don't feel like you gotta say yes all the time say no ace of swords in reverse say no say no period say no and then the nine of cups, I feel like this is your mom, like, <laughs> sitting pretty, like, letting you know uh, she's watching you. She's proud of you. She's proud of you. She is very proud of you. Nine of cups, satisfaction, proud. She's proud of you. She's watching and she's proud of you. And I love that. Okay? I love that. So that's it. That's it. That's it. No, I'm lying. I would love to get a postcard. So postcard from spirit. This was a beautiful message from your past on mother. This was so beautiful. I love that. I hope that you got something out of uh, this reading. And I'm going to look what I look at the bottom of the deck. I love that so much for you. Ah, okay, so now I'm going to get a... That's just confirmation for me. That is lit from the other side. This just makes me so happy. <laughs> this just makes me so happy from the other side. I Let's just put it here. Let's put it here. I'm sorry. I, I do this all the time. And all the time, I'm excited. Like, I do private readings. If you want to book a reading with me, information is on the screen but even in the private reading i just get so excited either i'm laughing or i'm crying or something <laughs> but that just makes me happy because it's just confirmation for you the viewer showing your mom loves you and she's sending love from the other side and she says she's, she's just literally watching you and everybody else. <laughs> Tell everybody I said hi. <laughs> Tell everybody I said hi. That's what I'm getting from there. From the other side. <laughs> like she feels fun. Like, Tell everybody I said hi. <laughs> like, like I see her like waving like in the, you know, that one kind of felt like I wanted to pop out. So maybe we'll get two. This is the one I want to get. Dearest you. So this is a postcard from your mom. Okay. I'm the mail lady. I'm the mail lady. And I have a postcard for you. Okay. Dearest you. As you think, so will you experience life. Did I not say that? Did I not say that? Wow. Confirmation. Okay. As you think, so you will experience life. Thoughts are powerful and they need minding. Let the unruly chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wrecking havoc. Wow. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet the real truth is that essentially all is well. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Because I really felt this message. See, this is what I mean. I told you I cry sometimes. But I really felt this message for whoever is watching and needed to hear that. So for it to come out in another deck just really confirms for me, you know, the gift, but it also confirms for you 
that this is from your mom, you know? Okay, carry on, let's go. <clears throat> of course you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones we want to keep. Those are the ones we want you to keep thinking. And they have a less frantic quality. They're stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate. Didn't I say that? That was like one of the first things I told you to do. Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Okay, so with that, with leaving judgment out of the mix, listen. Sometimes I meditate, especially in the beginning. When I meditate, sometimes I will just see a color, a random color. And then you, as a new, uh, as a new meditator, will judge that. Like, oh, this must not be right. I'm not doing it right. And then you go on a whole trail of all kind of crazy thoughts that pull you away from just that color. Whatever thought you get, if it's a good thought, focus on it. Focus on it. It could just be something so simple like the hairs on your toes feel good. It could be something like that or it could be something totally profound. So if it's a bad thought though, what you're going to do is say, Let's put that bad thought in my pocket for now. Because sometimes you're thinking about things that literally need attending and addressing. And sometimes you're thinking of things that do not, okay? So what you wanna do is take that negative thought, put it in your back pocket and meditate. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. At the end of that meditation, if that thought was relevant, then pull it back out of your back pocket and deal with it. And if it wasn't, it's gonna go away. Okay, you do that as many times a day as you need to. That's a really good beginner tool to meditate, especially if you're having thoughts that spin you on a uh, hamster wheel. Okay, so where was I? So meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them, love yourself, and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. I love that. Now, this was a bonus uh, one because I felt like it was hitting my hand, so I pulled it out. I'm not going to read it again because my voice is already hoarse, but I will take a picture of it and put it on the screen. This reading was very helpful to you. If so, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, if you would like a private reading with me, the information will be on the screen and also in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Bye.